welcome back to Website Success. I'm Christy Ray, and today we're tackling a big question that many small business owners face, and that is when should you DIY your website and when is it time to call in a professional? This episode is perfect for all you business owners who are balancing getting your business online with the day-to-day -day demands of running your business. Now, before we dive into the pros and cons of DIY versus hiring a professional, I want to talk about your budget. You do need to spend time and or money to create a professional looking website. And you want that website to attract your target audience and convert them into customers. I'm not going to tell you exactly how much you need to spend. That's up to you. But you do need to plan on spending something because without a doubt, you absolutely positively need a website. There shouldn't be any question with that. You need a website. That's probably why you're listening to this podcast. Websites give your business credibility, and they're a critical piece of your marketing strategy. Your website is what's called owned media. So unlike social media, you have total control over it. And in fact, you should use your social media to drive your audience to owned media, like your website and your email list. Because if those social media platforms suddenly go away, you could still reach your target audience. So keep all of that in mind as we go through the rest of this discussion. All right, with that out of the way, let's talk about your current situation. When it comes to whether or not you're going to DIY or hire somebody, first thing you want to think about is do you have the time to DIY? If you're already stretched thin, it's probably not going to be a great idea to add one more thing to your already full plate. But let's say that you do have some extra time. That's great. Creating and maintaining a website requires some very specialized skills and knowledge. So do you already know how to register a domain name, set up web hosting and your website builder? So if you're using WordPress, can you set that up? Can you create professional looking designs that are going to appeal to your target audience? Do you already know how to craft compelling content that's going to convert your target audience into customers? Can you add the code to get your design and content onto the website or use the page builder to do that for you? Do you know how to configure the DNS, SSL, CDN, and a whole bunch of other acronyms? Can you integrate your CRM or your email service provider with the website? Do you know how to optimize your website for search engines? And finally, do you know how to audit and optimize your website's performance? If you don't know how to do all of those things, you need to take the time to learn how to do them if you want to DIY everything. And keep in mind, all of those skills are for just a very basic website. You need to actually learn more if you want to add things like e-commerce, online courses, or any more advanced features to your website. So I want you to think about how long will it take for you to learn all of those skills? And more importantly, at least to me, do you even want to take the time to learn those skills? Because they could take a significant amount of time. And you know, if you, maybe you do have lots of time, that's all you have. Do you want to learn those things? Now let's look at the pros and cons of DIY. On the plus side, DIY can cost significantly less. And you'll have complete control over the finished product. So if you love a challenge and you have the time, DIY can be a rewarding option. However, if you don't already have the skills and knowledge to DIY, it can be pretty time consuming. I've built websites, I've been building them for 28 years now, almost 29 as of the time of this recording. And if I have all of the content and branding and everything ready to go for a website, I can set it up in as little as an hour for something really basic for a website that's got homepage, about page, contact page, services page, and maybe a blog. But I know all of the steps that are involved, and I've done them hundreds and hundreds of times. It could take days or even weeks or even months for someone who doesn't know what to do to achieve the same thing that I can do in about an hour or a few hours. And then after you spend all of that time creating the website, is it even going to look professional? It might, but if it doesn't, that's going to reflect poorly on your brand. Now, what about hiring a professional? First of all, hiring a pro can really save you a lot of time. And this is true about many aspects of your business, not just your website. 
I generally try to stay in my zone of genius and I hire experts to take care of the rest. I don't know the first thing about U.S. tax codes and I really don't have the time or desire to learn about them. So I hired an accountant to worry about them for me. She takes care of all of my taxes. She keeps on top of my bookkeeping and just overall does everything that I just don't have the time and really, frankly, don't want to do. I also don't know much about privacy laws, so I use a service called Termageddon, and they have an expert attorney that creates my privacy policy, disclaimer, terms of service, all that stuff. It creates it for me. If you hire the right pro, they should know exactly what to do and how to do it, and they're usually going to do it more efficiently than you can on your own. So keep that in mind because your time is valuable. And any time spent working on a website or any other task that you're either not good at or don't want to do, any, any time you're spending doing that is time that you can't spend doing things that bring money into your business. So in other words, despite the cost of hiring a professional, they could end up saving you a lot of money in the long term. Now, another thing to consider is that the expert knowledge a professional can bring to the table is invaluable. This is especially important if you want to add complex features like online stores, membership areas, courses, or any custom functionality. Those are going to be things that are going to take significantly longer for you to figure out on your own than it would be to hire a pro to do it. Plus, the work of a professional should look, well, professional. They're, they're professionals, so it should look as good as possible. So you're probably thinking, well, I guess I should just suck it up and hire a pro to do everything for me. Maybe, maybe not. There might actually be a middle ground or two to consider. One possible option is to take a course that walks you through the process of creating a professional looking website. That way you'll have an expert telling you exactly what to do, when to do it, and how to do it. Plus, you'll learn some of the skills that you're gonna need to maintain the website after you build it. Another possible option is to hire a professional to coach you through the building of the website. They can help with the really hard stuff and then walk you through some of the less technical tasks like adding your content or adding images or things like that. Now, I've done both of these options with my own clients, and they usually end up spending less money than if they would have hired me outright, but they end up with a professional looking website that they know how to manage themselves. And in some of the cases with these clients, some of them have ended up hiring me to take their websites to the next level. So I help them get the basic website set up or teach them how to get the basic website set up. And then they'll hire me to add e-commerce or courses or something like that. So how do you decide? First, assess your skills, time, budget, and what your website needs to do. Then weigh the time and stress against the cost of hiring out. In the end, the choice depends on your specific situation. Whichever path you choose, remember that your website is an important part of your business. It needs care and attention, whether from you or a professional. If you have any questions or need any guidance, reach out to me at the Website Success Academy. Go to websitesuccessacademy.com. And don't forget to join our Facebook group, the Website Success Lounge, for more tips and community support. Until next time, I'm Christy Ray, and I will see you in the next episode. (laughs) 